So I thought I'd just very quickly show this. I've recently been building a second version of uh, my ukulele banjola, uh, which I decided to put uh, French polish on. So it's been uh, to give the, uh, the shellac enough time to really harden and, and, and cure. So I've left it for about three or four weeks now. So. In the meantime, I decided I was going to throw together a strum stick. You can clearly see that this is not a strum stick, but I made a, a body mold for it. I started out making one and then decided to make it chromatic and then ended up putting on a bit of wood here and make it into a tiny bagnola. So, and I'm quite willing to admit that it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever made but it plays nicely and it sounds alright you know it doesn't have an enormous amount of bass it's more uh, mid-range top end sound to it uh, which would be expected from such a small body I really I just wanted to see what would happen if I made a, a really small bagnola, something that could be easily transported. And you know, I think it, it, it actually works, but it does need some refining. You know, obviously the design needs to be sorted out, but also slightly wider neck and the distance between. Uh, the nut or the zero fret here and the tuners needs to be increased a little just to give you a little more room up here and I wasn't going to spend an awful lot of time effort and especially not money on doing this because it was just a, an experiment so I used bits of scrap wood so the sides are beech the back is a birch as is the neck uh, the fingerboard is oak a very very thin piece of oak which I had lying and the top is a spruce top and the, the bridge was a mandolin bridge that had been I think trodden on at some point because it really mashed up but I, I cut off a bit of it and you know made it but it's not being fitted properly I just put a screw in there just to see how it would work out and at the moment, it's about a millimeter between the end of the fretboard and the soundboard there, so the strings are really low over the body, so at the moment it's... It's really only... it works fine for finger picking, but um, I'm not a claw hammer player, I just have not got hang of that yet or I had time to practice more like it but if, if it was to be played claw hammer it would need to the, the height overall height over the soundboard not the height of the strings but the, of, from the soundboard needs to come up so, so you can actually do that but yeah I might I might might refine it and make make another one and see let's see uh, what happens. Uh, I have it tuned. It's it's standard uh, G tuning but up uh, two steps so it's tuned to A basically. And I'm not really sure but I think it's a 500 mil scale might be a little longer. I can't remember what I did. But there you go. So that's it. Travel Bagnola just for fun. Take care. Bye-bye.